and guard your heart. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're not going to have a fight on your hands. Because the Bible tells us in 1 Timothy that we are to fight the good fight of faith. And what that means is we have an enemy, Satan. He's going to come against us. The enemy roams about like a lion roaring in fierce hunger, seeking whom he may seize upon and devour. And we're to resist him steadfast in faith. He's always going to try to get us upset about something. But listen to this. Everything that the enemy tries to do to us, Jesus has given us an antidote for that. So it's like Satan wants to poison our minds and poison our souls. But everything that comes against us, there's an answer in the word of God for that. And so there's in the world, you will have tribulation. It's a promise. There's no point in praying. You'll never have trouble because I can tell you that is a prayer that will not get answered. You can pray that God will help you navigate your trouble, that he'll give you wisdom in your trouble, that he'll guide you, that he'll show you what to do. But it's useless to pray that you'll never have any. And it doesn't matter how spiritual you become. Matter of fact, I might even just say that the more spiritual you become, the more you grow in God, the more the enemy is going to try to come against you to stop you. Because you have to understand, if there's anything Satan despises, it's progress. Any kind of progress in our life, he's going to come against us. The thief only comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I came that you might have and enjoy your life. Well, we can't enjoy our life if we're worried all the time and stressed out. So you have to guard your heart, and that means you have to pay attention to what you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> One of my biggest problems in life was I never thought about what I was thinking. And so for years and years and years, I mean, even something like the next time you feel depressed or discouraged, don't just talk about how you feel, but stop for a moment and ask yourself, what have I been thinking? <laughs> and I can promise you that you cannot get discouraged without thinking thoughts that don't line up with the Word of God. You can, maybe, maybe you're just under pressure and you, ask, you kind of think, well, what's been in my mind? Well, maybe you're worrying too much about a mistake you made yesterday that now only God can fix. And so there's no point in being stressed out over something that you did that you can't undo even like you know my past and all the abuse that I went through and other people have gone through a lot of things like that you know we can spend our whole life wishing that wouldn't have happened but the truth is is you can't wish it away it already did happen you can't do anything about that now but what you can do is learn from it and you can be determined that you're still going to have a good life but you will have to be careful about your thoughts. As a man thinks in his heart, so does he become. And I think I said this in, a, in another show, but I believe that the enemy, I don't know if it's because we're not fully awake early in the morning or, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one that has this problem. But I have to be really careful about my thoughts when I first get up. Because it's almost like there, there's, a, there's a, a little bidding war going on. For who's going to have you for the day. And I think especially when you first wake up. You're a little tired. You're not fully awake. You got the whole day in front of you. And maybe a lot of things you're not really looking that forward to. And, and you know if, if you got a few years on you. Your body maybe is not wanting to co cooperate with you so well. A few things are stiff. You don't feel real good just yet. And so especially early in the morning. I want to encourage you to guard your heart. The Bible says, keep and guard your heart with all vigilance or diligence and above all that you guard. So we are to guard what we let into us more than anything else in our life. If our physical heart is unhealthy, it affects many other areas of our body and life. And if our spiritual heart is unhealthy, it also affects pretty much every other area in your life. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.